It's a beautiful fall Saturday morning. And I have to take the RV to a local campground. I get to empty the shitter for the last time this year. What a fun job that is. Needless to say, I didn't have any volunteers that want to come down and give me a hand. Shitter was full. Now that that lovely job is all done, I'm going to jump on I-65 and head back to Lowell, Indiana. Gonna stop into this truck wash and have the RV cleaned. The name of this truck wash is Pride Truck Wash. Uh, I didn't see no rainbows anywhere, so I'm taking that they take pride in what they do. And I thought it'd be safe. Want to make sure the camper is nice and clean before I put it in storage. This way, when I take it out next year, it'll be nice and clean for next year's races. Then I drive next door to get my favorite health food: double cheeseburger, frosty and fry. So I'm on my way back to the shop. Uh, we got a Val Body giveaway. I'm going to announce at the, in this video. Um, also, I got a tune I'm going to upload into Mr. Haney and see if I can't get that done today with a few other things. Stay tuned. time I used it was 9 15 of 2021 when I put the base tune in number two last year and I haven't been on HP tuners on my computer since so I am not sure how this is gonna go but I'm gonna try to open it not sure even how to put it in I bet you I gotta call someone I tried looking on YouTube <clears throat> and of course you put in anything HP tuners you're gonna get thousands and thousands of hits and do-it-yourself guys and you could never get a simple how to upload and do download so I guess I'm gonna turn the camera off until I figure out just what the hell am I doing. Do you know what this means? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. All right, all right. I got a hold of Nick, a friend of mine. Real smart kid. This kid is, he's really smart. He's really good with HP tuners and it's been, it's been 13 months since I actually used this. So I just, I don't use this enough to remember how to do it. And I, I, had, to, I had to give someone a call. But basically, and I'm saying this to the camera, so in 13 months from now, I can come back and watch my own video to, to if I forget again how to do this. So basically what I did is I, I called uh, Nick over the phone and you basically hit the folder, which is open file. 
you pick the tune, which this one is um, today's uh, 1014, October 14th. Uh, and the last time I used it was um, uh, 915. So last year, uh, September 15th is the last time that I tuned it or that Justin sent me a tune to put in there. And that's been in there the whole time. I didn't really race it much um, last year and this year I didn't have a lot of time, but whatever. Click the tune, open it, and then you go to this right vehicle with the red arrow, click that, and this box will come up. And you just click right with the key on, and then you shut the key off. So I'm talking to my future self, the future of John Cope. Um, so that's how you do it. So anyways, the tune's in. I'm going to close this out. Um, I'm going to just open this and just take a quick gander, start it up, and make sure everything is okay. I gotta play with it more to um, to keep it in my brain. But uh, the that's the the third tune, and it's the first one with the white band hooked up. Hello, Moto. Hello. Skater. You good looking prick you. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, I'm over here working. Working on a Saturday at my shop. Okay. Um well I called I called you Dylan to uh you know I haven't uploaded a um a tune on HP tuners for thirteen months. Uh-huh. And I just totally forgot how I couldn't get a hold of Justin, so I thought I'd give you a call because I know you do yours. Um, but I got it taken care of. I got it in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, sorry to bother you, but it's up there. It's in there. I'm not going to drive it or nothing today, but it, it feels good to go. Hell yeah. I've seen, I've seen your little wideband clip. I couldn't read the numbers, though, so I couldn't tell if it was working or not. Um, well, the first time, uh, we had it calibrated incorrectly, so I what I did is I grinded down the bung and then moved the uh, um, O2 sensor deeper in the pipe. Uh, Recalibrated it, then I was getting the correct reading. But I think under wide open throttle, is at 13.1? Yeah, she's a little hot right there. Not too bad, but a little yeah. hot. So, a little lean, you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean by yeah, a little hot. Right, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you want to be, I mean, realistically on an NA motor, you want to be about 12 and a half to 12.6. Yeah, yeah, that's what everybody seems to say. 
Yeah. I mean, 13, I mean, 13 ain't terrible, but it's, she's a little hot. <laughs> yeah. She'll run good as hell though, right there. But you, if you was running that lane, you would definitely want some probably race fuel on it though. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going in a track next weekend for the last time. It, it's a, it's a, the street car brawl. It's a, a no prep thing where you race at the, the finish line down to the other end of the track. Yeah. And I've never done that before, so I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try, and I, they're not gonna be no ETs there. But I got a draggy in the truck, so hopefully that'll give me an eyeball of what it's gonna do or what it's doing, I should say. Yeah, that draggy's pretty accurate, man. I got one, and uh, for my quarter mile slips, that draggy has been within a tenth. You're you're that. See, now, what, when I'm at the track and when I'm at the street, it's a half a second different on my truck. Huh. But... Oh, well, yeah, on the street, though, you're probably spinning. Yeah, and I'm not doing no burnout. I'm not using the trans brake. Yeah. I'm just slowly laying into it. But you mean at the track, getting an ET ticket with the draggy hooked up. It's really close. Within a tenth. Yeah. yeah I, it's, I, very, I, very, it's pretty damn accurate. Yeah. It's almost there. Yeah. Yeah, I... I I, um, the 60 foot time is always the thing that's been the most off. The 60 foot time is usually like normally I'll run like say one five something 60 foots and the draggy will always say I'm like a high one six. Oh, okay. But the quarter mile time and the mile per hour is very, 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 very close. Yeah. So, all right. Well, um, you're, you caught me in the middle of a taping. So is there... Anything you'd like to tell the fans out there, out there in the YouTube world? Mopar, baby. There you go. Mopar. You're, you're supposed to say, welcome to the CRT channel. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the CRT channel. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you like that bit? I did. Yeah. That was pretty good, man. So yeah. I'll have to steal that one from you. Oh, no, no, no. No stealing. <laughs> you got to be original if you're going to make your own contact. No, there I don't. I don't give a shit. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was gonna steal your hide the GoPro underneath the hood at the car show event thingy. You should, because the comments you're gonna get is gonna be absolutely. Who knows what you're gonna get? Oh all yeah. Over the place. Y you know they're gonna be different from the Ford guys than they will. Though. Oh yeah. You know, but oh, you know what, everybody. The Ford guy. The Ford guy comments are gonna be the best. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna be like, what in the world? <laughs> but you know what I hear more than anything. When they look and they see what motors in the Ford, at just about 50% of the comments are, well, at least it's not an LS. Yeah, true there. So, all right, I Miss. One thing. They, that, they're cramming that motor in the, just everything. I know, I know. Well, I appreciate the phone call back, Dylan. Um, if you guys want to go check out his page, it's not Frostbite anymore, right? What is it now? Mopar Motorsports. Mopar Motorsports. Go check his channel out, guys. All right, Dylan. Thank well, thank you, you much, my right, friend. Man. See you, man. Take care. All right. Have a good one. Bye. All right. Well, we got the new tune in, uh, Haney. And I'm going to go to US 41 next weekend for the streetcar brawl. It's an eighth mile, no prep. You race from the finish line down to the end. Some people do it backwards. I don't know, but I want to give it a try and uh, see how the truck does. I'm going to make a few changes, probably lower the air pressure. Um, I'm not going to use the trans brake. Um, I think I'm going to try if I can't get it. To hook, I think I'm just going to launch in second gear, which I guess would be a great time to put the second gear launch trans brake in Mr. Haney. I don't know. Um, I might do that over the winter because I might do some of that um, daily driver races, which really looks right up my alley. That really looks like fun. So I'm going to do that um, maybe next year. But got a few announcements. Uh, first announcement. I got proofs for the t-shirts for Mr. Haney. There they are. At, this was the first proof. 
I, I just, I, I, I thought the, the CRT was a, too much of an angle. It was, maybe it was more than halfway. So I asked them to do it straight like that. And I seem to like that one a little bit better. You can read it a little bit better. People that may not know my logo would, would might, might have to do a double, double take. I want them to see it. So, um, the, the CRT Mr. Haney t-shirts, um, are on order. Uh, I proved the artwork. Um, I'm hoping we have them here shortly in the next week or two. Then they'll, they'll be up on the website along with the, these CRT shirts that, uh, have my Val body on the back. I thought it'd be pretty cool to get a Mr. Haney one going. So I did. The second announcement is I'm going to try, and I hope it doesn't turn into a train wreck, I'm going to try a giveaway. Um, I won it for my YouTube subscribers. So what I'm going to give away is a reverse manual valve body either for a 727 or a 904. No lockup, no trans brake, no clean neutral, just a regular reverse manual valve body. Now, there's three different versions of that valve body. You can get the street version set at 145 PSI. You can get the race version set at 175 PSI. Or you can get the rock crawler version, which is called the rock crawler special, which is right in the middle. Um, the rock crawler is for guys who who have to run stock oil pans that cannot run a deep pan, where the other valve bodies, because of the core we use, requires a deeper than a, 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 a pan that's not stock. It's got to be deeper than stock. So you're not going to be able to exchange, swap add, subtract. The, the prize, the, the giveaway is going to be a reverse manual valve body for a 727 or a 904. Not give you more money to add it to a trans brake, not can I trade it for a shifter, it's the valve body. That's rule number one. Uh, number two, it's if you live in the lower 48 I will ship the Val body to you as part as the winnings of the, the prize. If you live anywhere else, if you live in Alaska or Hawaii or Canada or anywhere else other than the continental United States, you are responsible for the shipping cost. Um, and to sweeten the pot, I, I, I'll throw in one of these new um, Mr. Haney CRT t-shirts. So. It's a valve body in a t-shirt, and it's free shipping if you live in the 48. Um, how, to, how do you enter? Um, you have to go to my, my website and buy one thing. Uh, I think the cheapest thing you can buy is a sticker for like two bucks. I think it's a dollar a sticker. So if you want to enter, you have to. You can buy anything. You can buy a servo. You can buy a Bolton Sprague. You can. You can buy whatever you want. But as long as you buy one thing, and in notes, when you when you you have to go and you have to buy online, in the notes you you'll you'll have your your name, your address, and what is in your shopping cart. And then there's a little section for notes, and I get that. And there's going to be a contest um, promo code, um, and it'll. I want you just to put YouTube. That's it. It's just YouTube. That's going to let me know that anybody that, that wants to enter into the um, into the giveaway, it, it has to be through YouTube. And so if, um, if you do that, then you're entered. Um, you don't necessarily have to be a subscriber, but that's kind of the whole point of giving something away is to get more people viewing, to bring more people to the channel, especially more Mopar guys. I kind of hate to give that valve body away to a Chevy guy, you know, so, but whatever. But if, if, you're, you're, if you're a subscriber to my channel and you go buy something and the time frame 
is from the time that you you see this which it'll be up either Saturday or Sunday to the last day of October so today just so I get the date right um, today's the 15th so you got 15 days to enter into the contest um, the cutoff will be the what is it the 31st or 30th I think it's 31 days in October at midnight will be the cutoff the last day of October then um, either the, the very next day or the day after that um, my wife is gonna tally up everything and we're gonna put names into a hat and we'll do a live and we'll um, pull the name out of the hat live on YouTube so sign up for our valve body giveaway get yourself a CRT reverse menu valve body and it's gonna come with uh, um, a Mr. Haney a Mr. Haney t-shirt and anybody who just wants a Mr. Haney t-shirt I should have them on the website ready for sale by November 1st you can go there now and buy these CRT t-shirts that have the valve body in the back I've been running these for quite a few years but I wanted I wanted something with a car on it so why not Mr. Haney all right so those are the announcements the camper's cleaned up. I'm going to put it in storage tomorrow. The tune is in Haney. I'm going to race it one more time before the end of the season. Uh, I do got um, news for Larry, on Larry Boyd. He went to uh, tr the track yesterday. He was supposed to be there yesterday and today. While we, me and Lucas were sitting here, I seen him in this truck and trailer ro rolling back. I'm like, oh, that ain't good. So something happened. Uh, the turbo took a shit, so this is his second one now. And uh, Larry's been just having a, a terrible, terrible time with with keeping that car together with the motor and getting parts, and he's just been having a really hard time. So, uh, other than that, I think my next video coming up soon, in about a week or two, I'm going to do a video um, on billet drums and stock drums and transmission explosions. Now that the racing will be kind of be over, um, I'll probably do that when I get back from the track because next week's video will be me being at Morocco for the streetcar brawl. So that'll be the next week's video. So after that, after I get back from the streetcar brawl, I'll do, um, I do a video on billet drums. Uh, the who, the what, the why what you should know and uh, I'll show you how they explode and what you can do to protect yourself so until then go to the website and buy something buy a t-shirt buy a sticker um, you have to buy something it can be something as small as you want I don't know if the stickers are up there so when I get home I'm gonna put the stickers on there um, I'll put them a dollar. So if you want a sticker, they're a dollar. If you want to buy a t-shirt, they're like 20 bucks. Um, or a band strut, or whatever you want. If, if you want to buy something and enter yourself into the drawing for a free reverse manual valve body. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. With low band apply. Either high pressure or low pressure for a stock pan or for a deep pan. Whatever you want. Those are the only perimeters. So said enough and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing to the channel and um more part to you guys have a good one mr haney i didn't hear your truck oh well that's easy explained you see the motor is tuned to such a high pitch it can only be heard by dogs